these quick and easy chicken wings will become a family favorite. They are crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. You'll especially love the simplicity of these tasty wings. Hey everyone, I'm Flo. Dude is behind the camera. I'm all about simple food, simple faith. Yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm in crutches. I was playing pickleball earlier this week and I heard a pop in my calf and I went down and it turns out that I have torn my calf muscle. So I am thankful that it is not worse, but I am praying for quick healing and that I'll be back to normal soon. So I'm supposed to stay off my legs and I have a guest appearance today. My daughter Ella is gonna take over. Say hi to Ella. Hi everyone, I'm happy to be helping my mom out today. And today we're going to be making one of my favorites, my mom's salt and pepper chicken wings. I love my mom's recipe, but today I'll be making some changes that I think will make it even better. So right now I'm going to take a couple sheets of paper towel and I'm just going to pat the chicken wings dry. So I'm just gonna... So now I have my chicken wings that have been patted dry so that they become more crispy when they're in the oven. And I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of peppercorn, which I'm going to grind up. Okay, so I like it like this, and I'm going to put that into the chicken wings. And then you are going to add one tablespoon or three teaspoons of kosher salt. And next you're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. And lastly, to make this a little bit different, because I love garlic so much, I'm going to add some garlic powder. I would have added real garlic, but putting that in the oven under a broiler would burn it. So we're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder. And now you're going to mix it really well until all of the chicken wings are evenly coated. The chicken wings are now evenly coated and I'm going to put them down on a baking sheet that I've already lined with foil and sprayed down with oil. So I'm putting the wings skin side down so that when we flip them over later you will get a crispier skin. And now all the chicken wings are on the pan ready to go under the broiler for 8 minutes. Oh, they look good. Yeah. And now I'm going to start flipping all of them over so that the skin is facing up. And now we're going to put them back under the broiler for another six to eight minutes. The chicken wings have been under the broiler for eight minutes and the color is golden brown. A lot of them look crispy. They're done. And now I'm going to plate them. And now I'm going to season it with some pepper. And some seasoning salt that my mom got from France. Are you ready for? Yup. The taste. Thanks, Ella. I am so excited to get into this. This is also one of my favorite recipes uh, that uh, your mom makes uh, because it's so easy to make. It uh, makes its way into our our rotation. Uh, not necessarily on the weekly, but it's definitely a, a good standby. All right. My favorite uh, chicken wings, or part of the chicken wings, are the flats because I like to um, debone them. Oh, I left a little bit. Ah, 
hot. Hmm, without being even air fried, the outside of the wing is crispy, the, the uh, skin is crispy, the meat is tender and juicy. You know, Ella, I think your addition of the garlic powder, I can smell it in the, the general aroma. It's not gonna be overpowering or it's not gonna be as strong as putting fresh garlic in there, which, you know, you could go for it and see what happens under the broiler. It does add to the overall taste profile, which is yummy. And you know, it didn't take much. It didn't take much at all. Just salt and pepper, and you have a really delicious chicken wing. You gotta do it. This has been fun. Thanks for watching, and check out more of my mom's yummy chicken wing recipes right over here.